Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mahua and I'm so excited that you're here. And I'm also really excited to talk about my art journey and where I started, how I am now. And what really inspired me to talk about this is that I gave a presentation to high schoolers the other day. So I literally have a PowerPoint just about me. <laughs> and my boyfriend started selling art for the first time the other day. So that really brought me back to those times. So yeah, I'm really excited to maybe help you out and just talk about my journey. Yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna go through my whole high school and post-grad experience with me selling art because obviously this doesn't happen overnight. I'm gonna include chapters in the thingy-majig below so you can go forward and backwards if you want. Also, I don't really have too many pictures and videos from the time periods that I'm gonna talk about, but I'm gonna include whatever I find, so please bear with me. So, all right. I'm gonna briefly talk about how my life art was pre-selling. So this was in high school. I was very unmotivated, not confident. I didn't really think that art was a choice for me in the future, post-grad, just because, you know, my brown parents, if you guys know, they always enforce like doctor, lawyer, engineer on you. So I didn't think that you could do art and that career at the same time and I also didn't really have anyone to look up to at that time who were artists so I didn't really have any good connotations with art at that time so this made me really depressed and insecure and you know all those bad things I did not pick up a paintbrush pencil nothing for three years after graduation just because I saw no future with it I didn't want to pursue something that I couldn't actually do in the future and I felt like okay let me just stop it completely because you know like it's not bringing me anywhere basically i remember feeling very lost and hopeless and i realized that art used to bring me a lot of peace and it was a therapeutic escape for me so i thought to myself maybe i should start doing art again over the next few months i really liked painting about social justice and my country and all those things and i remember posting an art piece about bangladesh i absolutely hate that piece now the girl literally has two left arms but anyways i posted it on twitter and it went viral at that time Time, had like 2,000 likes and that really gave me hope in that moment and it made me feel so good about myself just because I've never had that many likes on one of my art piece and more than just my friends and family saw the art. I think that was the beginning of the beginning that really pushed me to start making prints and do something that I was so freaking scared of because I remember people were commenting under the tweet asking to buy prints and that got me so freaking excited. I literally went to my local art store to get prints and I I went to the dollar store to get shipping supplies and all these things i was so excited but even then i was really really doubtful i thought those people were just saying that to be nice i thought that when they actually got the print they'd be really disappointed so even though this part really made me more confident with my art because people wanted to buy it i also felt very insecure still just because i wasn't confident enough with my art I didn't feel like anyone else would like it, genuinely. I remember one of my friends, specifically my friend David, if you're watching this, he kept telling me that he wanted to buy my art piece, he wanted to support me before I got famous. I never believed him, I always brushed it off. I told him, no, like you don't need it, like fine, I'll just give it to you for free. He still brings it up actually because he's like, if you had let me buy it back then, then I could have had a Labyrinth app original. But basically, I was just so insecure is what I'm trying to say. But eventually, I started selling the art and I was very new at it. I literally didn't even realize that you had to pack the print with a plastic ceram wrap or cardboard behind it originally. So a lot of people got crumpled up prints that I had to resend for free. After that, I eventually got to a point where I was doing commissions for people, jacket commissions. This was so freaking nerve wracking for me. I feel like I went from a point where I was so nervous to sell art and then I went straight into making commissions for people, which was a whole other level of nervousness because they want something specifically and you have to make it exactly like how, how they want it. I realized that, first of all, that if I don't do it, someone else will. Second of all, I have to step out of my comfort zone to succeed. Like if I were to always stay in the phase, oh, I can't sell art, maybe people can just look at the art I make on Twitter or Instagram, whatever it is, I would have never gotten to this point. I, I would have never gone past that barrier to get to a higher point. You can't expect to be the best if you literally don't even complete the first layer of it. You have to climb and get to the best by doing those things that make you scared. Like commit 
musician, selling art, selling merch even. I was scared shitless of all of these things, but I knew that I had to do it to accomplish my dream, get to the level that I wanted to get at. Really grateful because all of that in the beginning, that fear, that doubtfulness, everything in the beginning really helped me become who I am now because now I'm so freaking confident. Well, not so confident, relax, relax. I'm not so confident, but I'm more confident with my art, I'm more confident with selling, and I feel like I've made a name for myself just because I started from the bottom. Everyone has to start from the bottom, right? Since you've watched this far already and I'm hoping that you're engaged, please like this video because apparently it really helps. And subscribe just because you love me and you love my topics. But let's get back. When I was talking to my boyfriend the other day, he was telling me how he didn't understand why people wanted to buy his art, he didn't understand why people would resonate with something he made, and he really just wasn't confident with what he was making. That really showed me an insight of how I was back then, when I was first selling. And it's really crazy because so many people doubt themselves and feel like people won't actually like what they are making, and it just prevents them from actually ever selling. And I feel like those people, myself included back then, will never realize just how much of an impact they can make until they actually start from the beginning and get over that fear initially. Because I'm telling you right now, there's so many doors that will open for you once you make that jump. And it's scary at first, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. So now I wanna talk about me post-selling. This is a few years in and all of the things that have opened up for me. And also, I don't want it to seem like I'm bragging at all. I don't want that at all. I just want to show you guys just how many doors has opened for me. Maybe it can help you and maybe it can motivate you as well. So don't don't think that I'm bragging or you know not being humble or anything. When I first started doing digital art, I made a piece about the pay up movement and that went viral. It was like the number one pay up hashtag on Instagram. Because of that, I got on the L Magazine Instagram page and at that time they had almost a million followers. That was such a huge turning point for me just because I felt like people were recognizing my art, yes, but beyond that, bigger companies were also recognizing it and people were finally noticing me as someone that cared about real issues like this and I felt like my art was making a difference. So that was a huge turning point for me. After that, I was actually featured in a news channel, Al Jazeera, maybe some of you guys have heard of it, but I was asked to talk about one of my art pieces on that because it was about something that was going on in Bangladesh. That was such a big thing for me because Al Jazeera has millions and millions of viewers and it's crazy that they literally asked me to be on it just because my one of my other art pieces went viral and they wanted me to speak on that and that's I've never even heard of that. It's crazy. I'm so grateful for that. Another thing that I'm really, really proud of, once I started my business and it was getting really popular, alhamdulillah, a lot of influencers started following me and DMing me. And one of them that I really, really like cherished till to this day, Nobella followed me. She bought my art. She supported me so many freaking times, posted me on her story and did all of these things. And that's crazy. That's literally, like, can you? Can you freaking imagine you following an influencer, celebrity, whatever it is, for years, looking up to them for years, and then them following you out of no, like, like, I, when I saw that, I, I, I don't even know what I did, like, that's crazy. It's crazy that my art resonated with people that I've been looking up to for years, like, inspirational people like that. All the connections that I've made from just art and talking about my experiences and talking about feminism and South Asian representation, all of these things, it's crazy. It's crazy. Another thing that I've accomplished is I've painted a huge ass mural in a boba shop. Maybe some of you guys know this, but I would have never imagined that in my life. It's crazy because I remember before I was selling art, I went to this place in Astoria called The Gully and they had this huge ass mural of Abhishek Bachchan Rekha on the mural. And I remember saying to the person that I was with at that time, I said, I'm gonna have my art on one of these walls one day. And I said that, you know, kind of just like half joking, not really believing it, but I was also very sure that it would happen. It was weird. And it's freaking crazy that it literally happened less than two years after. And it's, it's crazy how much I've grown, how much everything has changed in such a short amount of time because that's how fast everything went. I'm so grateful that I was able to do that. And it's crazy that my art went from a small ass canvas to like 20 feet 
in a well-known restaurant. Besides all of those great, amazing things, I think art in general and me just selling art in the beginning really just, first of all, helped me connect with so many people, thousands of people across the whole country, across the whole world. So many people are able to resonate with my art and that's the greatest feeling that anyone can ever have. I love getting DMs from people saying that they've gone through a similar experience and me talking about it really helped them realize what they were going through and it helped them a lot, you know, I, I love that. It's helped me become more financially independent. I don't have to really depend on my parents for any, you know, money related things anymore because I can kind of take care of myself. It was really hard in the beginning to keep going and making art, selling it when I wasn't sure still and confident. But over the past few years of doing commissions, selling art, it has really helped me with my self-discipline because now I have to have a schedule, I have to be very organized with all the things that I have to do. Two, it has made me very confident with my art. Now I'm more sure about my art style. I know what I want to put out into the world. I know what things I want to preach with my art. Three, it's just making me feel so much more useful. I feel like jobs of being a doctor, an engineer are great, but that's just truly not for me and I feel like me talking about my experiences of being an artist in brown culture is such a big thing that I would have needed back in the day and I feel like a lot of people do still need it now and I'm so glad that I'm able to use my voice and my experiences to help other people. Yeah, these are some of the things that have happened because I sold my first art piece. It's crazy, shit's bonkers. Like, I cannot believe that I'm here. I think about that girl that was first selling art in the beginning and it's crazy how much I've changed in the past three years. My point with this video is that I want you all to do that thing that's scaring you and to stop making excuses. That thing that is scaring you can literally be the best decision of your life and it can change so many things for you. And that thing that you're complaining about now, whatever it is, you know, you not having enough money, you not having the amount of followers you want, even though those are all materialistic things, you know? But as an example, that can literally change in the span of like six months, not even less than that. You just have to take that step, get out of your comfort zone, do all the shit that makes you scared, and just take that leap, bro. Take it. What's going on? I am a living example that you can do what you want to do. You just gotta be patient, gotta put in the hard work, be resilient. I hope this helps you a little bit. I hope it motivates you and I hope you take that leap. Please let me know if you like videos like this. I will keep making it even if you don't. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos and I'll see you soon.